What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man. Wag 100 speaks on the Kendrick Lamar Lil Wayne Super Bowl 39 controversy once again, man. And he says that he had a hard conversation with Birdman about the tweets that he put up about his disdain when finding out that Lil Wayne got snubbed by Jay-Z, man. Says they went at it real hard, said that Birdman better fall back and he got to fight back in another way, right? And he says, you can't fight the fact that Kendrick Lamar got selected. You really got to blame Drake because if Drake would have never engaged Kendrick, Kendrick wouldn't have won the beef and he wouldn't be hot as fish grease right now, right? But it is what it is. And Wack 100 says with the power of social media and viewership that Cash Money Records is not going to take this L laying down and they will be back. It is interesting. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. Like, what you feel about that though? Like the halftime show, what you feel about it? Bro, what's wrong with it? You don't what think you... you don't think Wayne should be like the airliner? Why why you think Wayne should be the airliner? I'm just saying it's Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans. So you, so you figure whatever city the NF the Super Bowl in, you think that dictates what should happen? Nah. Yeah, it was... If the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs go to the Super Bowl, who they depending on to fill the seats? You got a point. You got a point. Okay. Uh, those commercials cost so much. Is it because of the people in the dome? Is it because of the people that's watching televised? People that's watching televised. So the city has really nothing to do with the Super Bowl. What does NFL do for the city? It brings hundreds of thousands of people into the city for the businesses the hotels, the restaurants, and things of that nature to make some money, right? So the right. first turn the NFL is doing for the city. The city ain't doing for the NFL, right? Right, right. Because whoever's on the field, those fans of those two teams are what's going to fill those seats. Generate revenue. Right. I get it, I get it. Okay. The viewership is way more than what's in those seats. So they're not basing their decision based on where the fuck they at. They're basing no decision based on what's going to be the draw. Right now, who's more relevant currently? Right now. I mean, Lil Wayne and Kendrick. They're not like us. Okay, this is not about who got better music, who got more catalog. This is just about that. Blame Drake. Drake paid the nigga the lane without the motherfucking rap beef. He probably would have been considered. Got you. But let me ask you this, though, Wack. You, you think, uh... Is there any chance that you think that Kendrick will bring out Lil Wayne? There's no chance that Lil Wayne will allow himself to be brought out. There you go. That's what you're not going to do. <laughs> that's what you're not going to do. Nah, that's a fact. That's, we had a little argument about that earlier, but nah. I mean, with the end of the day, this is like, it's business with them, bro. Now, can Jay-Z have swayed it? He probably could have, but it's just some ill feelings because motherfuckers in disrespect of his wife and songs? Probably so. Right, but, but how, how do we blame Jay Z for something that committee got to vote on? Like, oh, no, I don't no, think he oh, got. No. He could have swayed. He part of that committee. He headed that committee. Oh, so he? Oh, he could sway that shit all day. Oh, but man. this is the thing. How could you fight Kendrick? How, how could you fight it? How, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can you fight that? I mean, we just. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I, right I, I get, I get what you're saying. The numbers going listen, numbers. Listen, listen. Yeah. And I think the West Coast factor and what's been going on, I think niggas is like looking at Drake and cash money and they looking at all this shit like, you know, all this shit. Because if it had been LL Cool J, they wouldn't have said nothing. If it had been Eminem, they wouldn't have said nothing. If it would have been Drake, they wouldn't have said nothing. Right. They wouldn't have said shit. You got a point. You got a point. You think it's a problem now? You watch when they get up there and do not like us. In the middle oh. of the world. You think he gonna perform that song though? I know he gonna perform the think. <laughs> oh shit. What you talking about? Didn't they hey, that's the song that... Cali rap before? Yeah, yeah. yeah that was Dr. Drake, Dr. Drake. 
So uh, is, Mary J. Blige was up there and played the game. Yeah, that's, I, yo, you took the words right out of 50 my Cent, like Mary J., yeah, Eminem. I feel, I feel like Game should have performed that, at, at that, yeah, at that I, I, thing. Listen. Well, he didn't make a big deal out of it. No. Like everybody else is making a big deal out of this right here. First of all, Wayne ain't still ain't said nothing. That's everybody else saying something. Exactly. Wayne ain't said shit. Nah, we ain't, we ain't staying neutral. I, hey, it's, I it's, wouldn't be surprised come 2026 when the shit's in Santa Clara in the in the Bay. Wayne is on the bill. Yeah, it's back in Cali next year. Hey, as much as I don't like that man music, I just feel like it's his time. And little Wayne, yeah, I, that's yeah. Time, so you know what I mean? On some real shit. I, that's what, I just feel like the tight timing. That's it. Nah, yeah, I got it. You got a point, right? You got a point. And I feel like it's timing, but the things that we worried about, the NFL ain't looking at it like that. Do I think Jay Z had? Yeah, definitely. That's because he stood on it. I seen his statement. Oh, okay. He stood on it, but it's like you can argue it, but guess what? Jay Z know the arguing just gonna bring more views to the halftime show. Yeah. Smart decision, huh? I mean, it is what it is. That's a fact. Life goes on, man. Everybody got to get, get their time to shine. Mm -hmm. like that, I mean, that's a fair, uh, that's a do I think Wayne could execute it? Absolutely. Do I think Kendra's going to execute? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it. I will tell you this. Cash Money ain't going to lay down. You can believe that. That ain't going to happen. Hey, that Birdman tweet, though. That yeah. Birdman tweeted some shit. <laughs> hey, he won't tweet nothing no more. We got into it about that shit. You won't hear nothing out of him no more. R&B was sitting there looking at me. She said, you two motherfuckers really be going at it. Well, if these people heard this content, this shit go crazy. Viral. Oh, no shit. Hell yeah, we got at it. We was at it, at it. She couldn't believe it. She said, if I didn't hear this shit, I wouldn't believe it. Eight minutes later, he called back. My brother, <laughs> I know that's why you said what you said. He said, I ain't gonna lie. I just got a call from Slim. Telling me the same exact shit you was just over about. So I know it's real. I said, yeah, nigga. So now be quiet. Come up with a plan. <laughs> more, than, more than one way to skin a cat. Absolutely. Oh, that boy, yeah, that keep it 100. Yeah, that nigga said, that's why I love you like a brother. Because you going to call it. Tell me you don't give a f How I take it, you don't give a f He told R.B., this nigga that made me so motherfucking bad, I ain't talked to that nigga for two, three months. And when I called him, he ain't tripping. He said, he don't get one thing I know. This nigga go, he don't give a f He go tell me. I said, what the nigga, oh, he ain't never told me that wrong. That's a fact. That all I the called way. and told that nigga. I called and told that nigga what I told that nigga. That nigga say, you know who you talking to right now? I said, I know exactly who the f I'm talking to. Did you hear what the f I just said? <laughs> yeah, that nigga recognize you right away. Son. That's the who I'm talking yeah, about. <laughs> yeah, that nigga said, I said, you the fuck I just said? <laughs> nigga, how you gonna tell me or how I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you like I just told you. And this is what I'm telling you. And this is what gotta happen, what better happen, what need to happen. That's it. All the rest of that shit, I don't give a fuck about. This, 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 that, 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 this, 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 that. That's what it is. And this is what I'm telling you what it gotta be, my nigga. That's it. Chill out. Relax. Don't do that. Boom, 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 boom. Man, you got me f***ed up. Nigga, I'm stunning. That nigga hang the phone up. That's a whole, that's a whole <laughs> different that kind of level of respect. That nigga called back six, seven different, different six, seven minutes later and said, I love you, bro. One thing about you, you go tell a nigga what's right. Even if I don't want to hear it, even if I get bad, you all give a f***. Man, you got to speak, you got to talk back in another way. Fact. I said, stunner, that's your city. I said, stunner. You have the key to the city. That's your city. More than one way to skin a cat. I get to it. So you ain't you ain't heard the last of Cash Bunny. They ain't just gonna lay down like that. I don't think so, but let me shit. Hey, let me tell you something. The power of social media, the power of viewership is strong. Facts. But you know, do I think it was intentional? I don't know. I just. Shit, I think it was business. I think right now Kendrick is just he more relevant. He hot right now. The controversy is around it. I don't think anybody gonna fight you on that one, bit dog. Uh, I think that's just what it is. Ain't that's the a same fact. Thing of who's better and who this and that. Just right now, nigga. I will tell you this: if it's ever gonna be established that it's some type of truce with him and Drake, it'll happen on that stage on that halftime show. That's that's what I was. Thinking. 
Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. That'll make everybody forget about everything. You think that's going to that's gonna calm everything down, though? Hey, what? That should be crazy. People will go nuts. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 speaks on the Super Bowl situation once again, man. And he pretty much is saying that, hey, you got to blame Drake for the simple fact that Kendrick got selected, man. If Drake didn't engage, Kendrick wouldn't be the man right now. But he says it's just business, man. Nobody should really take it personal. I do agree with that, too. Like, if you're in that position, right, just say you're in a position where you got to have an event that's going to be worldwide millions of eyes is on it right and everybody's got their minds focused on a certain event and you want to have a music event on top of that at the halftime right you're going to select the hottest person the person that's doing the most numbers the person that's the biggest right and you got kendrick and then you got drake it don't matter what city it's in the two biggest artists in the country right now are going to be as far as hip-hop is concerned it's drake and kendrick lamar right Lil wayne is not even in the conversation i know a lot of people don't want to hear that but Lil Wayne didn't get selected simply because he's not the hottest artist right now it is what it is man you can't be mad at that but Wack 100 said he told Birdman they need to formulate a plan and plot and figure out a way to bounce back man what do you think that mean do you think they're about to start dropping monster music do you think they're gonna try to get the next halftime show like Wack 100 was saying out there in California I think in 2026 right they're gonna be in uh California for the Super Bowl do you think they're gonna try to do that how else can they bounce back right are they going to spark a beef with someone who else can they beef with drake is their artist right they're not going to beef with kendrick again kendrick done already spanked them so it ain't no way that they're going to beef and little wayne is not going to get involved in any kind of beef and back and forth and battles and things like that i think little wayne is beyond that in his career right so what moves are they going to make but i will say this one of the biggest moves that kendrick can make to make everything look great right is what wag 100 just suggested right let's just say kendrick lamar brings drake out to squash the beef in front of the world in front of 100 million people or however many people watch the super bowl every year that'd be big but i don't think drake would go for it i don't think kendrick could do it and Lil Wayne damn sure ain't finna get up on that stage with Kendrick Lamar in his city like he's a flunky to him man I think Lil Wayne got an ego that's as big as Louisiana man it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen man it's just wishful thinking but I would love to see that happen because it'd be great for hip-hop man two dudes coming together and Kendrick Lamar kind of uh, reaching down and pulling up Lil Wayne L the reason Lil Wayne ain't gonna do it is because that's exactly what Kendrick Lamar would be doing reaching down and Lil Wayne is going to say, hey, man, I'm next to you or I'm elite. I've been in this game since I was 12, 13 years old. You're beneath me, man. You can't reach down to pull me up on any stage, right? So I think an ego will kick in and that will not happen. But I don't understand why people are so upset about it because this is a big moment for hip hop, man, regardless of where Kendrick Lamar comes from, man, regardless of what state he's coming to, this is a big moment for hip hop man and i know people may be looking at it like dag the west coast just had it a few years ago with 50 and snoop and all of them but 50s from the east coast but you know dr dre and all of them was just on stage for the super bowl halftime show man so why they got another west coast artist doing the same thing all over again man but still it's a hip-hop moment right we got to stop separating ourselves when it comes down to coast and regions and things like that it's a moment man and on top of all of that lil wayne ain't even said nothing y'all gotta remember this lil wayne is the one that's solid on this he ain't said a word he ain't uttered a word he ain't typed a tweet he ain't done nothing but be silent on this thing so we don't even know how he really feels about this man a lot of people are speculating that he may be upset but we don't know he may be cool with it man like i said he's cool with jay-z right jay-z did some things for him he was just hanging out with jay-z you think he didn't know about the halftime show of course he did right i don't think jay-z checked in with him to make sure he was gonna be cool i think jay-z just did what jay-z did hey man this is a business move. This is my business. And I'm going to decide who's going to get on that stage. And Lil Wayne, we still cool. They still got business together, man. Like I said before, in business, right? There's no permanent friends or enemies. And Lil Wayne may be upset, but you don't want to burn bridges like a lot of his friends are doing right now. Nicki Minaj and everybody attacking Jay-Z because we already know Jay-Z can hold a grudge for a very long time man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace